The new Hoover Portable is different from all other cleaners. You carry it like a suitcase, with self-winding flex and everything you need inside. Ready to clean efficiently, powerfully. The Hoover Portable packs more power than any other suction cleaner. Lets you clean the whole house single-handed, then just packs away as neat and tidy as a suitcase. That's the new Hoover Portable. The dirt searcher. This powerful headlight makes the new Hoover Junior relentless. When it goes searching for dirt, it finds it. Under chairs, under beds, in dark corners. Its famous action beats as it sweeps as it cleans. Hunts out dust, fluff and damaging grit. Makes your carpets deep down clean. The new Hoover Junior is relentless. That's why we call it the Dirt Searcher. The new Hoover Junior. A dirty great elephant made of blue serge challenges a great new cleaner made by Hoover. The Conquest. It reaches 11 feet up with double stretch hose, magics away fluff and stubborn hairs with its brilliant new turbo brush, carpets, floors, stairs, upholstery. The Hoover Conquest tackles anything, even a blue surge elephant. See one tomorrow. There's magic in a Hoover constellation cleaner that walks on air. The magic is sheer power. Down thrust power for gliding. Suction power for cleaning. Glide through your housework with a Hoover Constellation. Powerful magic at an astonishingly low price. A lot of carpet takes a lot of caring for. And years of experience prove that to keep a carpet looking its best, you have to use the best. The cleaner that beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. Years of experience also prove the more carpet you have, the more you need Hoover. Hello, I'm back. I've just had my hair cut. Can you see? Very nicely done there. Right then, hello Sash. I don't know if this is bright enough, so I'll just switch on the special video light. If I can just, yeah. is that better? Too bright, I think. Anyway, on with the show, as they say. Right then, um, yes. Now, from the little selection of adverts you've just seen, there is one machine, apart from you know that I would absolutely love to have the power drive or Concept One power drive. Another machine that I would absolutely love to have as well was the Hoover Portable. You know, the one that stored everything inside, the hose and everything. I've known about that machine for some time, but that advert was the first time I've actually seen it properly. I've only seen a sort of line drawing on, on the dust bags it uses, but uh, anyway, that was interesting. Right, well, I'm sitting down here where I normally sit. Um, as you can see, my typewriter is here, probably just out of shot. And I normally, when I'm typing, oopsie daisy, oh dear. Hello, can you still see me? I'm normally sort of typing away here on my typewriter. Now at the moment, I'm watching Police Academy 2 on the, you can't see me, can you? I don't think you can. Dee -dee -dee. That's me tight, boys. Yeah? Anyway, uh, oops, a daisy. Oh, it's gone a bit. Oh, right, anyway. It's a bit of a noise, isn't it? This is my typewriter where I do all my typing. Hang on a minute, I just heard something. As usual, it was nobody. See, I. I type you see here so whenever I write your letters whenever I'm writing your letters it's here at my desk going like this on my little brother you're right these do cost a fortune 
Well, they're two pound twenty-five. The ones mine uses, but I do get through quite a lot of them during the course of my typing. And there's a little cover to keep the keyboard clean. I best turn this off. This is a special video light here. Ah! Um, that's very useful if you're going on location and um, if it's uh, somewhere like a pub or something you're recording a party and it's a bit dark then this part uh, is supposed to come off <laughs> see this part here oops I just broke it that's the light that actually clips to the top of the camcorder and you have this very heavy battery pack around your on your shoulder so it provides extra lighting where you need it now better not point it directly at the camera because it could damage the lens there we are right well on Tyne Tees at the moment on this little telly there's sons and daughters oh my god who's that hang on it's only the mad old person next door leaving well, there's a cartoon, Barney Bear on BBC One, BBC Two, some athletics, ITV, Sons and Daughters, Channel Four, an advert. Oh God, that's fascinating. Anyway, I've I've had my hair cut, uh, and I had some soup for me dinner. Didn't I, Sashi? Hey, this is Sasha's downy. Come on, Sash, come up here. Let's just put the microphone down. Come on. Come here, let's see here, you darling. Oh, dear. What? What's up? Are you a good girl? Mm. Mwah. Love you. Now then, there you go. I'll just show you something. I'll show you something. Now, Another vac that I've pinched, sort well not pinched, what's the word, pilfered, no not even pilfered, uh, obtained from Curry's, I think you could say obtained, because it, um, it was just an old trade-in that nobody wanted, is this model, now if I'm, sorry about this, walking in front of the camera there, now that, at the moment, I haven't, I've had it quite a while, but I haven't been bothered to clean it up or anything, but I will do, now I had one exactly like this, but I sold it to my brother Mark when he had his flat. There's nothing whatsoever wrong with this machine apart from the fact that the hose is broken, but I can probably fix that by shortening it. But as you can see, I have already started dismantling it and I've just left it in this sorry state. See, if you wanted to know what the inside of a vacuum cleaner looks like, there you are. What a opportunity. Basically, all it needs is a thorough good clean and then it'll work as good as new and it'll probably look, it won't look brand new but it'll look decent the only thing that's major that's wrong with it, can you see there's a crack there but I think I did that myself when I pushed it onto the van because it was out on uh, delivery um, at the time and we had to collect this so I just pushed it on and it's uh, knocked against the thing so I think that's probably what that is but if if it cleans up well then I can always get a new one of those direct from Hoover's main uh, uh, spare parts place do you want to see my new duvet cover? I'm sure you do my bedroom is not really very tidy at the mo it's a bit of a mess let me just go and turn this light off No, it's not it's not the tidiest it could be. I haven't even made my bed properly. What a mess, eh? What a mess. Hello, you What you want? Oops. What do you want, Dolly? Hello? Hello, Sash Boy. Let's go and see your friends. Right, I've just changed my bed, you see. That's why that's there. 
I haven't changed my bed, I've changed my uh, Oh dear, what a mess. I better get this cleared up before Mummy gets home. That's my coat and my shoes. Let's have a look in the spare room. This is Sarah's room. But at the moment she isn't here. You've seen her here before, but that desk is new. There we are. Let's have to, did we have two beds in here before? I don't know. Oh, it's a paper. That's the paper. Have a look at that later on. Now, what are you, what are you doing? Who's that? Is that Sasha? Sasha Bash? Sashi! Solo? Suki! Suki Suki! Hello? Baby Gemma? Gem? Do you need to go out? Do you need to go out? Come on out, come on! You lazy dog! What do you want, Sash? Fetch it! That's Sasha with her chew. And down here is little Solo. Jem! There's Gemma having a stretch, and that's, that's the lens cap getting in the way. Right, I'll sit down here and try and make them play. Ah. Hello, Solo. If I go down, you're going to be out of focus. You're out of focus. Jem! Right, let's see if we can get them to play. Get them! Get them! Uh, go on, Jem! Find them! Oh dear. Well, they obviously don't want to play today. Now, that jardinier there cost me five quid from work, and all that was wrong with it was the top was cracked, so we just bought a new top, so it still worked out much cheaper than it would normally. Well, I was hoping the dogs would play. Um, hello, doggies. Hey, Jem, do you want to have a play with Sash? Come here, little bay boy. Oh, no, little Gemma. Get her! Come on! <coughs> now, I can't make them play if they won't. If they don't want to. Do you want to come out? Come on! Come on out then! Right, come on, Gemma! Come on! <laughs> You know, little doggy. Come on out. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Go on out. Suki. Sasha. Come on out. Come on. They are so disobedient. Sasha. Go on out. Go on. Go on out. Go on out. Go on.
there's Sasha, there's Gemma. Oh dear, another one. little Gemma. Oh dear. <laughs> Gemma! Gemma! Let's see if we can coax her back in. Here she comes. <laughs> Gemma! <laughs> she has a bit of trouble. Good girl. You're clever. There we are. Made it at last. Well, I think that's enough for the doggies. Let's turn the light. That's our new shower. Oh, what's that? That's me. Oh, sorry about that. Thought it was somebody else. You're a nosy dog. Let's pick the paper up. Mm, what's in it today? Let's see. No. Is that all? Up the up the stairs. Dee 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 dee. If you can't stand the heat, keep out of the kitchen. If you can't stand the cold, don't sleep on the floor. If you can, if you can't bear a look. Ooh, here's the bedroom of my parents again. I think this is a. Actually, the whole house is a little bit of a mess. Zoom isn't so bad. Let's just press this little button. Does that improve things? I don't know. I'm sure it does. Let's have a look out the window. That's all my dad's slides and all his mess up there. My mum gets a bit mad with him. Uh, back we go into my room. Now, let me just check the time. If I can. Where's my clock? Oh, there it is up there. 
Oops, ten past four, is it? Right. Now then, let's have a short sci science fiction feature entitled Return of the Giant Killer Dogs, coming up right now. It was a perfectly ordinary day. Hey, Sugar, can you put the washing machine on for me? Sure, Mom, I'll do it right away. So Johnny went to turn the washing machine on. Do 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 do. Wow, what a great washing machine! The new Hoover Electron 1100 Deluxe! Mm -hmm. I better check that Mom's remembered to fill it with washing. She is so forgetful. Uh, oh, that's right. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's a disgusting stain on their bedding. I wonder what they've been up to. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, there. Now put the soap powder in. Dee 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 dee. Uh. Mm hmm. And switch on. Gee, that's great. Ha <laughs> ha, dun dee dee dee. Johnny went off to school. Little did he know what may happen next. <laughs> ah, it's a killer dog. Oh, save me. Oh. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, my God, they're going to kill us. Oh, save me. Oh. What's wrong, Mom? said Johnny. Oh, I've just seen a killer dog attacking the washing machine. No, Mom, have you been on the Valium again? Oh, no, Johnny. I swear it. It was horrible. Oh. Oh, oh, I'll go and have a look, Mom, but I'm sure you must be hallucinating. So, fearless young Johnny went into the kitchen, not expecting. To receive what? What? No, I'm sorry, I've got that wrong again. He went into the kitchen, not expecting a thing, until da -da -da -da. here comes the killer dogs. Ah! Oh! Ah! Growl! Growl! Ah! Attack! Attack! Ah! Johnny was savage to death, but the washing machine still went on working. Hoover washing machines, they'll cope with everything, <laughs> even stained laundry. Look, beautifully clean, removes all unsightly, embarrassing stains from your duvet covers. Hoover Electron works even when killer dogs attack it. From Hoover, who better? Well, Sue, I hope you enjoyed that exciting, uh, enthralling, super-duper mini-epic entitled Invasia of the Killer Dogs Who Attack Washing Machines. There'll be more of such high-quality drama coming up later on my show. But first, this. It's time for... What is it time for? It's time for a fully grown man who can't do any serious Shakespearean acting to make a complete fool of himself on Play School. Do 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 ba da ba da da do 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 ba 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 ba. Hi kids. Hi. Guess what I've been doing. That's right. I have. I've just been in bed with Jenny over there. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Well, as you can understand, Jenny's feeling a bit tired at the moment. So, looks like it's just me and little Ted. I know, but size isn't important. It's personality that counts. And here's littler Ted. Well, what should we do, Teddies? What do you suggest? Yes, well, I would like to do that, but this is a family show. There are young children watching. We can't corrupt their dear little minds now, can we? And what do you want to do? Oh. 
Well, I think you two better get on with it then. That is disgusting. And now on BBC One, it's time for Andy Crane. Hello! <laughs> My name's Andy Crane. Andrew for short, or if you prefer, Dickhead. Now, on Blue Peter today, Yvette will be showing you how to make a vibrator out of a cardboard tube. <laughs> and Callan will be flirting with Philip Schofield, who we all know fancies a rotten. But no, seriously. Today is a important day in the in the history of broadcasting. It's a day when we say goodbye to Terry Wogan, who has had a good innings after all, but all bad things must come to an end, and Terry knew that. And instead, we've got a new show for you. It's entitled Lang. Lang. Uh, uh, it's going to be presented by some some person called Roger Lang, and he'll be interviewing many, 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 many famous personalities, like the woman on the Shaken Vac advert, um, the man who who broke the world record for shoving a certain fruit up a certain part of his body. But enough of that. On with the programming. It's time, as ever, it's uh, time I got a watch. Ahem. <coughs> well, oh, sorry. Oh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Ireland. Sorry. Ha ha ha. Sorry about that. Ireland has to go first. Um, a few minutes before the rest of you. Because they have, they have their tea slightly earlier. Hello. Now, this is... This is uh, Benny the banana. Bobby the banana, sorry. Here we are, Bobby. Oh, dear. Bobby, you've had a sex change, haven't you? In fact, you've had a species change. You're not Bobby, you're Solo the dog. This is Solo the dog. She's Gordon the gopher's best friend. There you are, Solo. Anyway. It's about time for us to go, but join us tomorrow, where we'll have for you, again, The New Adventures of Popeye, repeated for about the seventh time, an episode of Grange Hill, where Mr. Bronson loses his wig and finds it in the most embarrassing place inside the girls' washroom. There's lots of fun when he tries to retrieve it, as you'll see on Grange Hill tomorrow. But now on BBC One, it's time for Neighbours. Neighbours Everybody needs good neighbours. Da, 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 da. So I'll see you tomorrow in the broom cupboard, bright and early at two o'clock in the morning. Bye for now. Oh my God, fade me out.